So with that being said, we do have the Green Bay Packers up next in the back and the Packers do start on the road versus the Minnesota Soda Vikings. Is it too early in week one to say that this game will decide the will side will decide the division? I don't think so because they do play week 17 again and the and the and the and the division might be decided by that point. So this week one, game one of the NFL season, Green Bay Packers versus the Minnesota Vikings is a must win for both teams. Yes, I know you cannot say you have to have a must win week one. This is a must win week one. This game will decide the division. And I'm picking the Minnesota Vikings to win this week one game over the Green Bay Packers. It is uh, Aaron Aaron Rodgers is still trying to find that trust with with his receivers, with his new teammates. Him looking like Mister uh, was it Bruce Willis off of Con Air? Like I mean, the the man is so worried about his looks and image off the field and this this and this and that he is not worried about making, building building a relationship with his teammates week one, and that's why the Vikings win this game. Week number two, the Bears coming to town. The Packers win this game. Week three, another huge game for the Green Bay Packers. They travel down to Tampa to take on Julio Jones and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the newly signed Julio Jones. Give me the Buccaneers in this game. I think the Packers are going to start off a little bit rusty. Yes, they did beat a bad Chicago Bears team, but that doesn't mean nothing. They're going to be very, very rusty. Give us a week four matchup. The Patriots come into town. Take on the uh, take on the Packers. Give me the Patriots week number four. Are, are we really going to see a one and three start for the Green Bay Packers? Yes, yes, we are, my friends. The Packers have a tough schedule, and their tough schedule gets a little bit easier week five through seven, a little bit. When the Giants come into town week week five, they finally get back on the winning path giving us a second win of the season over the New York football Giants. Give us a week six matchup with another New York team. The New York Jets come into town, and they win that game as well. So they they have now won two games in a row, and all you major league league fans, if you win one more, that's three in a row, and that's called a winning streak, right? Do they get a winning streak versus the Commanders when they travel to Washington, D.C. week seven? Yes. Yes, they do. The Packers are, are, like, are now 500 going into this week eight matchup. Actually, they can't be 500 going to week eight matchup. They are three, that they're four and three, so they're back above 500 going into the week eight matchup, traveling to Buffalo to take on the Buffalo Bills. This is a potential, a potential Super Bowl matchup. Now, I we all know Aaron Rodgers shits the bed in the playoffs. We all know that he can only make it to the he is always the bridesmaid. He's never the bride, right? Yes, he's been the bridesmaid one that got divorced, whatever, right? But with that being said, Buffalo Bills coming off a bye week. A hot Green Bay Packers team coming into to town. I am going to pick the Green Bay Packers to go into Buffalo to upset them. Give them now four wins in a row. The Packers are getting hot. Give us a week nine matchup back on the road, going to four field to take on the Detroit Lions. They win another game for five wins in a row. The Packers now are six and three on the season. They are getting hot and they are looking spicy. Week number 10, Mike McCarty, Dak Prescott, Zeke Elliott, Super Bowl containing Dallas Cowboys come to town fresh off of bye week. Mike McCarty's first Return back to Lambeau Field since being let go a couple years ago. And Mike McCarty is going to come out firing. He is going to be come out looking pissed off and ready to roll. He's probably going to get booed coming onto Lambeau Field. Yes, I know they won a Super Bowl with him, yada, 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 but that's besides the point. The point is, is hey, you are our old head coach and we don't like you. There's, there's going to be a lot of energy, a lot of tension in this room, on this field, in this whole game. This is probably going to be a flex game. They're probably going to make it a Sunday night primetime game. I, I think it's a Sunday night primetime game, but it doesn't matter. Cowboys win this game. The Cowboys go into Lambeau Field and upset the Green Bay Packers after the Packers have won, won, have won five in a row. Give us a week 11 matchup Thursday night game. Titans coming to town to take on the Packers. Aaron Rodgers is still pissed off. Aaron Rodgers is upset that Mike McCarty came in and whooped that ass. Aaron Rodgers lights the stadium up Thursday night. 
I would love to be there in that game because this 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 game is going to be over at, at like halftime. King Henry is going to get grounded. Ryan Tannehill is going to have to throw the ball all over the field. He's going to probably throw three or four interceptions. Aaron, Aaron Rodgers could, could throw three or four touchdowns in the first quarter. It's, it's going to be an ugly, ugly game. Week 12 matchup. Packers travel to Philly to take on the Eagles. Now, previously, I was dogging the Eagles that I that I'm not sold sold on them. Like I like I, I I think they are going to. I think the people are overhyping them a little bit. So, with that being said, with all that being said, I'm picking the Eagles to beat the Packers Week 12. So, as hot as the Packers were earlier in the season, Week Five through Week Ten, or through Week Nine, winning five games in a row. They're starting on a downslide here. They have won one of their last four going into the bye week, giving us a week 15 matchup. Monday night game, the Rams come into town. Green Bay Packers are right now are sitting at what it's in at seven and six on the season. The Rams come to town, former Super Bowl champs, or uh, they're reigning Super Bowl champs, I should say. Monday night game. The bye week has really motivated the Green Bay Packers. They are like, kind of on the outside of looking in, of winning this division, and they do win this Monday night game versus the L.A. Rams. Give us a week 16 matchup versus the Miami Dolphins. They win that game as well. The heat is very, very good for the boys there. Give us a week 17 matchup. Minnesota Vikings come into town to take on the Green Bay Packers. Packers are sitting at 9-6 and six right now. If they win this game, they will finish the season 11-6. and Because we do have them beating the Lions week, eight, week 18. Does 11-6 and six win this division? Possibly. But... I had the Vikings coming into Lambeau Field and beating the Green Bay Packers, finishing the Green Bay Packers season at 10 and 7. So I have Aaron Rodgers not getting 13, 14 wins. I have him getting 10 wins this season, 10 and 7. 